Hello YouTube, it's uh, Derek Watson the Angry Dentist back with you again. Um, I've just had another day in practice. How many patients do you think I had? Go on, have a guess. Pop quiz. Any idea? No. Okay. Two. Two patients. There was a time when I would have got been, been quite worried about the fact that I only had two patients, but in fact um, this is a private practice and so you don't um, tend to get too aerated about things like that. Um, we don't have two patients every day. I mean, um, many days we have many more patients than that, but um, it's the end of the month. It's about the, um, it's the 29th, the time that most dentists dread because we've only got 48 hours to do your tax return and, uh, and it's payday. And the end of January tends to be historically quiet anyway because if you're self-employed you've got your tax bill coming in haven't you and it's the big one and if you are an employee then um, you've got your credit card statement coming in from Christmas so nothing much happens uh, at the end of January uh, beginning of February sort of um, money wise um, but that's not what I wanted to talk to you about really I just wanted to let you know that um, um, once you've achieved your targets in terms of um, financial targets for the month you can relax and sort of treat it as a bit of a holiday which is nice. Now, I know um, there are dentists will be saying well you know why don't you just carry on booking patients in and make even more money once you've got your you know you've, you've reached your target then set yourself a new target and um, I've never been like that. I've never done it for the money honestly. Whenever the newspapers used to interview me, they used to say, yeah, I bet you're earning a fortune, aren't you? And I used to say, I'm the poorest dentist you know, and it's true. But anyway, <clears throat> that's not the point. The point, my rant today is about um, referrals. And having been out of the profession for sort of the best part of 10 years full time, um, there are a couple of things that have uh, changed that I've noticed. And um, one is the crown glue. The, the glue for gluing crowns on is fantastic now and we used to stick stuff on with zinc phosphate and um, you know it was okay it, it, I mean it was a good glue do you know what I mean it was a bit tricky to mix but once you got the hang of how to mix it it was it was, very, it was a very good glue now we've got this stuff where you just um, push a syringe in and it mixes it up like aldite and it just comes out in the crown and you stick it on like you attack the edges and get rid of the excess and then the whole thing um, composite to, uh, to catalyst cures so that's great probably the single only advance really in the last 10 years but so probably a good candidate for the single biggest advance I would say was crown glue but the other thing of course is the um, it, the internet's come on a long way um, and one of the things that you do online now is referrals so I had a patient who needed a referral I um, downloaded a thing called the dental referee which we have in East Kent which is a book that tells you where to um, refer people. And then I rang up what used to be the Primary Care Trust, and now the, um, wherever they are, and asked them about referrals. And they said, oh, you can download the dental referee, but it's all out of date, so don't take any notice of it. And then um, they've got uh, forms for, available for download. So I downloaded a form and filled it all in and posted it all off. And then they took a month to send it back and say, no, we don't do things by forms anymore. Now it's all done online. So I have to get in touch with a third party who's being paid a fortune, no doubt, to administer some stupid SQL database for the local authority, just that interfaces with the um, intersecondary care. So I um, put um, this guy in and... Um, and then I wanted a refer. I wanted a second opinion on OPG. I had an OPG. Um, <clears throat> I just had what I what looked like a cyst on it. So I, well, I just wanted a second opinion on it. So I decided to see if I could get a second opinion. And of course, this referral system doesn't can't cope with that, can it? It can cope for with two things. I presume the local area trust only pay for two functions. One is extractions and the other one you know wisdom teeth and the other one is um, oral medicine which is basically a referral for cancer so it does cancer and it does extractions nothing else does it do so what I, I had to do because you can attach an x-ray to a referral 
is invent an extraction for this person. I had to invent, can you believe it? This is the National Health Service in 2016. I had to invent an extraction for this patient to get them on the referral system because they're all very like, oh, this thing's marvellous. It won't let people fill in things wrong. You know, it, it, all the information, this is how they sold it, I'm sure, the people to the, the local area trust. They said, oh, it'll save you so much work because when people... Um, come to do the referral they'll have to get it they'll have to get it right they'll have to give you the information that you want and they'll have to and they can't leave anything blank um, and uh, you know we can check all the postcodes and everything to make sure that they're in the area etc and and so what I've had to do is make up a complete referral for a patient who needs a tooth out and I've had to attach the x-ray to the referral for the extraction and say and in the notes and at the end I've had to say this is not a referral for an extraction please do not take this patient's tooth out and I can't trust them not to do it do you know what I mean I cannot trust them not to take this patient's tooth out I, I am worried I'm going to get into trouble for referring this patient to have a tooth out and they are going to take the tooth out that's how bad the referral system is anyway um, <clears throat> as it happened this bloke had had a cyst and he'd had it treated so uh, um, we um, cancelled the referral so what what I did was I just logged in and um, selected the referral and just pressed cancel. Did I? You can't do that. You can't cancel a referral. Once, if you wish to withdraw your referral, you can't. You have to ring them up, the people, Vantage, whatever they're called, and tell them that you want to withdraw a referral from the system because you can't delete it. And they say, uh, only the boss can do that and he's not in the office today so can you ring us back on Monday when we think he'll be in the office and then he'll do it for you he'll delete it for you I mean whose time is this saving to be quite honest how is this better than what we used to do which was to type out a referral and fax it through and it used to come out on the fax machine in the reception desk of the oral surgery department I mean words fail me how they think this is any better, I just do not know. Anyway, you've probably got your own systems. I know, I'm complaining, I'm preaching to the converted, I know. You've probably got your own systems and you've got your own problems and your own complaints. And every local authority trust has reinvented the wheel and probably paid for another, for a different system that is just peculiar to them and <clears throat> does naff all. I mean, it does less. Than a spreadsheet would, you know, does less than does less than Google Drive would do, does less than OneDrive would do, does less than Dropbox would do. Um, I just uh, words fail me, honestly. I don't know the people who procure this IT. I don't know what they're thinking. If you're listening and you're uh, East Kent Hospitals University NHS Foundation Trust. First of all, do you think you could put a few more words in there? I mean, I don't think East Kent Hospitals University NHS Foundation Trust is long enough, to be quite honest. I think you could have a few other sort of uh, legal entities tacked on the end, like Limited PLC, uh, Charitable Foundation or something. But if you are listening from East Kent Hospitals University NHS Foundation Trust, then you've got a crap system here. It's crap, OK? It's rubbish. It's, and I don't know, the minute I get a non-standard referral in, I do not know what I'm going to do. Because I can't use the old system and I, and I, it seems to me that the new system doesn't work either. I'm just going to have to refer everybody for an extraction. I shall just have to tell everybody I'm referring that I'm not to be surprised when they go and ask if they're going to have their upper front central incisor out and say no, thank you very much. Um, actually, Mr Watson referred me in for something else. Okay, it's Friday night, that's it. So, that's referrals for you, okay? If you're um, setting yourself up in a practice and you want to know how to do referrals, the answer is almost certainly online and uh, almost certainly it won't work. So, what should we do tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll do another subject. Well, Monday anyway. Wages, tax, who cares? I'm going home. All right, see you later, bye.